So I used to buy all kinds of art supplies uh, early on. And my rule of thumb was, you know, it couldn't hurt. <laughs> the more stuff I had, the better. But I had this weird thing where if there was two things of the same. I oddly would buy the more expensive one because I thought that it would help me. I was so desperate to do better at this that, you know, I just needed all the confidence that I could get. And I remember, I still have a brush upstairs. I thought it was here, but um, it was a paintbrush. And it was, this was a long time ago. Um, I was 20 something. And I bought a paintbrush, it was $30. And I still haven't used it. <clears throat> I mean, it's more of a watercolor thing. It's this fan brush, you know. I can't throw it away. I can't use it. It's probably not even that expensive compared to prices now. But then it was ridiculous. I bought a tape dispenser that that was at the time it was like thirty five dollars. It's this thing, and it and I still have it. I mean, it did last, um, but <laughs> it was crazy. So that was you know, the rapidograph sets and all this stuff, you know. But I found out later, like, it's not going to do with that. You know, tools are just to help your art and you can get them anywhere. And what I found was, I found the best tools in hardware stores and in paint shops. And so I thought I'd share today with the, one of the cheapest tools I have, but I use it all the time. And it's this, this is a painter's guide. Um, and these are just, you know, under five bucks and uh, they are so good. They come in different sizes. So I just am so into this thing. I thought I'd show you, uh, for those of you guys who never use one of these, just what it can do. It can do a bunch of stuff and I use it all different ways. So check this out. Okay, so um, you can see this one is, I try to wipe off the paint. This is not the best uh, practice. You, you should want to wipe it off so you have the, the blade there because this can get kind of dummy, but, Anyway, so let me just show you, um, I'll show you what kind of cool stuff you can do with it. <clears throat> okay. Um, grab my paper towels. I'm working with acrylic paint right now. Um, and I, I, here's another example, like these are really cheap, these Blick Essential brushes. Um, you can also get these at a house painting store. That's where I buy a lot of my supplies house painting because they're not, you know, it's not like for artists, but these work great and they're so cheap. Um, anyway, so here's the big thing with a, with a uh, painter's guide. Um, you know, if you try to make a mark, unless, you know, you get a mark, you try and do a straight edge, you kind of get it straight and it takes time to like get it perfect, you know, and this is really blurry and, and but if you use the, the tool, Look at how, like, it's so fast. And there's something, like, I'm really putting the paint on thick. And when I release it, I'm going to pull this way, that way. So I get a cleaner, a cleaner edge. It's actually not that clean. That's um, because I'm on this paper. Let me try it again. Um, you can get it razor sharp. You can see that. So you get, you can make these really clean, really clean marks. Now, that's not at all like what it, that's not, there's, it can do more. So check this out. Um, uh, let's see, we've got kind of a paintbrush here, a little white paint in here. I'm using the Art to Life paints, uh, shameless plug, uh, but any paint, you know, this is not like anything about the paint. Um, sometimes what I'll do is I'll put paint on my, board like this and build it up, get it really thick, super yummy. And then I'll use this tool. I can just, it's really big. It's like I can just smear this. It just makes all these like amazing, amazing marks. It's like I'm glazing with it almost, you know? You just can keep going. So now I got this amazing background and I can come in, um, put a few marks on this, more marks. And say I have a, 
a dark, You know, it's just fast. Anything that's faster, <clears throat> I love. So it can make these marks that are really like this, but then when you complement it with marks that are really clean, I'm not really like doing it, I'm just doing it quick. Right, you get this, you can see how nice that is. Now, here's the other thing. This is like this amazing um, tool for drawing. I use this so much. Right, you can see that. So this is another kind of amazing what thing about it is you can draw through Now here's the other thing which I love. I'll take the paint and I'll paint it on the edge. Now I can put this in, I kind of wiggle it to the sides and I get these amazing lines. Look at that. I mean, this thing should be worth like hundreds of dollars. You know, this is like $3, this thing. And I just use this in my work so much. Large paintings and everything, these come really big. Now, also like I'll take this and then I can just, see, isn't that cool? Now here's the other thing that you can do with it. You know, it's pretty amazing. I can take another color or whatever and you can see how much on the ends the paint's been built up here, but I put the paint right on the end. I don't know if you guys can see that. I put it right, just kind of load this up here. And then I can come in and I can put those marks on there. Do you see that? Like it, it's, and when the painting's vertical, but you can, you can get these really great, like it's a stamper, you know? And I can come in and just adjust them. And there's white here on that. I can come in and put that in other places. So anyway, a whole bunch of uses for this painter's guide, shield. Um, this is house painters use this to paint around trim when they're painting a house to speed it up. But I love this thing. And uh, anyway, we've got some links below. I'm not sure, I think we sell these in our Arts of Life store, but you can get them anywhere. You can just at your local paint store um, or on Amazon or whatever. So anyway, have fun with that. Um, let me know in the comments your favorite tool and, uh, and, and let us know because surprising, sometimes these things are, are like just household objects we have that are just, they can make amazing marks on your work. Thanks for being here. And uh, for those of you who are new, uh, don't forget we have the artists, Arts Life Artists Free Facebook group. Um, lots of people from all over the world making amazing work. And we'd love to have you be part of that. All right, hope your Sunday is really good. Thanks. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great, let's do this.